Hi students, welcome back. Now coming to the next concept in computer graphic is a 3D rotation. So I think you know aware of the 3D objects also. So far we had discussed about the 2D objects, 2D rotations. Now let's see about the 3D rotation. Actually, uh, a 3D rotation, uh, it is a process of rotating an object. It is a process of rotating an object with respect to an angle always with respect to an angle remember student if you want to try to rotate an a 3d object you have to rotate the object with respect to an angle what angle you are trying to rotate in a 3d plane suppose if you consider an object p has to be rotated from one angle to another in 3d plane suppose you are trying to uh, rotate an object so let's take uh, the initial coordinate for the p is I'll explain this 3D object by taking an example student so that you'll get a, a clarity on the concept. Let, let's take my initial coordinate of my object P is X, Y, Z. Uh, my initial angle also. Initial angle with respect to the origin is let's take 5. And rotation angle should be compulsory. How much rotation you want to be shift the object. The rotation angle let's take it as a theta. So let's take a new coordinates after rotation. I want to find out the new coordinates after rotation. That is x dash, y dash, z dash. I want to find out the x dash, y dash, z dash. Which are the new coordinates after rotation. Okay. And one more thing students, in a three dimensional, there are three possible types of rotations. What are the three possible types of rotations? I hope you know that the three possible types of rotations. Those are nothing but X axis rotation, Y axis rotation and Z axis rotation. You can rotate the object whatever the type of rotation you required. You can rotate the object in X direction, Y direction, Z direction. Okay. So, let me take uh, explain one by one for X axis. How you are going to rotate an object if you are want to rotate in X axis? So, when you are trying to rotate the object in X axis, the X coordinate is remains the same and the new Y coordinate should be Y cos theta minus Z sin theta. This is the formula. And Z dash is equal to Y sin theta plus Z cos theta. So here the object, if this is a 3D object, X, Y and the Z. So here the object is going to rotate like this. X axis. Means the position of X is not changing. Only the Y and the Z is going to be changing. So if you want to represent in the matrix form, you can X dash y z dash dash 1 which is a homogeneous coordinates 1 0 0 0 0 cos theta minus sin theta 0 0 sin theta cos theta always try to represent in a homogeneous coordinates x y z 1 so this is for x axis now let's have a look on for y axis also and then we will work on with an example then you can understand how the object is going to be rotated by axis. Let me write the formula for this. Uh, X dash is equal to Z sine theta plus X cos theta. Y dash is equal to Y remains same and the Z dash is equal to Z cos theta minus X sine theta. Let me write the homogeneous coordinates for in a matrix form. 1. So, the matrix representation is cos theta 0, sin theta 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, minus sin theta 0, cos theta 0 and 0, 0, 0, 1 and x dash, y dash, sorry, x, y, all coordinates, x, y, z, 1. So, how this picture will be look like? So, the, this is X axis and this is Y axis and Z axis. So, the object is going to be rotate like this in the Y direction. Let's have a look on Z axis also. 
z axis x dash is equal to x cos theta minus y sin theta y dash is equal to x sin theta plus y cos theta and z remains the same z dash is equal to z let's have a look on the homogeneous coordinates of this z axis cos theta minus sin theta 0 0 sin theta cos theta 0 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 0 1 and the old coordinates x y z 1 okay if you want to show uh, see the uh, how the object is going to be rotated x y z in a 3d plane so this is how the object is going to be rotated in z axis so you have you know the formulas right now let's have a look on the problem then you can clearly understand what's happening here let me take an example given a homogeneous point let's take the homogeneous point so 1 comma 2 comma 3 apply rotation let's take the rotation how much uh, angle we are going to rotate the object so the rotation let's take it is a 90 degrees okay towards x y z axis and I need to find new coordinates. What are the new coordinates? This is a question. Now let's try to find the new coordinates. I'm going to try to find out in all directions. Let's take x axis. Apply the formula. X remains same. So x dash is equal to x naught is equal to 1 only. x naught, y naught, z naught. And this is y dash is equal to y. Uh, let's take y, z x cos theta minus z sin theta x is 1 cos 90 degrees minus z is 3 sin 90 degrees that means cos 90 is 0 okay sorry y cos theta i am sorry y cos theta minus z sin theta so y is 2 2 into cos 90 is 0 and sin 90 is 1. You are getting the answer as minus 3. So 1 minus 3. And what about the z dash? Z dash is y sin theta plus z cos theta. So substitute here. Y is 2 into sin 90 is 1. And z 3 into cos 90 is 0. You are getting the answer as 2. So my new coordinates are 1 comma minus 3 comma 2. So 1, 2, 3 is changed to 1 minus 3 comma 2 x remains same now let's have a look find out the y axis the new coordinate for uh, y axis also x dash is equal to z sin theta plus x cos theta that is 2 z is 3 right 3 sin 90 plus 1 cos 90 that means 3 plus 0 you are getting 3 and y is remain same that is 2 and z is z dash is y cos theta minus x sin theta. So if you substitute the values you will get 2 into 0 minus 1 into 1 you are getting the 1. So the new coordinates are 3 comma 2 comma 1 sorry my uh, yes minus 1 3 comma 2 comma minus 1. Now let's have a look on z axis. Find the coordinate for z axis. x dash is equal to x cos theta minus y sin theta. x is 1 into cos 90 is 0 and 2 into 1. You are getting it as a minus 2. And the y dash is equal to x sin theta plus y cos theta. So that means 1 into 1 plus 2 into 0. You are getting the answer as a 1. And z is remain same because we are rotating in z direction. So z is 3. The new coordinates are minus 2, 1, comma 3. So this is the old coordinates. If you want to try to rotate the object from uh, using x direction, you have the object is rotate. The new uh, coordinates are 1 minus 3, 1 minus 3, 2, 3, 2 minus 1 and minus 2, 1, 3. This is about the 3D rotation. Thank you.